The only part of New York City that Frankie and I have ever picked is Staten Island. Very rarely do we ever get any leads from the city. So this is gonna be interesting for us. So we're going to a place called TechServe. You know, I'm not really into computers. I'm not a real super electronics guy, but I love to learn. Who knows what this guy is gonna have? Hey, hey. Hi. How you doing? You Jan? I am Jan. I'm Mike. We meet Jan, a super sweet lady. She takes us inside and we meet her husband, Dick. Hey, hey. Hello. Hiya. TechServe became a really great hangout. Kids would come every day after school and they'd get a five cent Coke from the vintage Coke machine. It's been a really good run. It's been 29 years. What about this Aww. pencil sharpener? I've had these before. People usually don't know what they are. This one actually says automatic pencil sharpener right mm -hmm. on it. You know, usually that's gone. It's kind of crude, you know, because it has a blade that's flipping on the outside. Blade comes down and cuts, cuts off a little piece. Modern pencil sharpeners have like these rotating wheels with little burrs on them. This replicates how people used to sharpen pencils with, with a knife. It has a three-bladed knife that sort of rotates around. As the knife goes around, it slices a little piece off the pencil each time. And as the blade turns on the outside, it clicks on the inside, which is actually turning the pencil. So eventually it'll get all the way around, but it cuts it just like you would cut it by hand. It has a little box here yeah, that's supposed the, to pull. Sure. Oh, You'll that get it. should open. Pull out and then take the shavings yeah. out of it. And you have to keep the oil cup filled. Yeah, I know, yeah. I see that. <laughs> okay. I know, I see that. That's uh, to keep it, keep it lubed. I mean, it's just a cute little decorative yeah. item. It's got a great little emblem on the side. It's stenciled. It's a very cute mechanism. 85? I think it's worth 85. Yeah. But I'd have to be in it at 50. 60. 60? Yeah. All right, we'll do it. All right. It's nifty. This is a lovely piece. We won't have any problem getting rid of it. We both thought it was such an interesting looking gizmo. It is a gizmo. <sighs> Yeah, I like is that, that an old one-hour one photo place, you that, think? That could be. Uh, or is it one I hour renting a room for the hour? <laughs> it's New York. You're probably renting a room for an hour, right? I think, I think it's, I think it's now, more now. photo. <laughs> so right next to his desk is a one-hour photo sign. Big one, cool, hand-painted. That's a nice one. I want to put it up to advertise our service. Oh, OK. <laughs> well, we didn't, because it's very hard to guarantee one hour <laughs> in a computer repair. But I love the sign. How about? Uh, 100 bucks. It's three dimensional. I think it should be at least 150. Let's go there. All right, let's do it. It's a cool piece. Right. Nice. Let's do it. How does that stuff have anything to do with this every day at work? It eases your mind, it takes you to a different place. It's an escape. All right, you got it? You got, got it. Going to the base I got first. it. Today was a good pick. Dick and Jan are living the American dream. They started a business 30 years ago and have watched it grow beyond their wildest dreams. Well, this was so So fun. nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. Really nice. Good luck with the move. And the downsizing. I thought it was fun. I didn't know how it would turn out, and I think we hit it off. I wound up enjoying it. That was fun, That's right? it. Um... It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.